If I had to say what is the issue with John Wick 4 in terms of the worst aspect, it's just very, very thin. I think overall this is a very good, even great film, but it is basically mostly style, very little substance. Is the style very engaging and very interesting? Yes, I do think for the most part it is visually engaging. There were only a few moments I felt genuinely bored. I can't hide that Bill Skarsgård was kind of disappointing. Like, his acting is great, but the character is just very one note. He's just really rich, really arrogant, wants to take down John Wick. The idea of John Wick and Donnie Yen, polar opposite, he's kind of the noble old friend, blind assassin. It's just very much a set of tropes. The tropes are pretty good for the most part, but they are kind of basic. And this does matter a little bit, because I'm only doing minor spoilers, but... I would say the thinness of a few characters. I'm not going to give away which ones, but the thinness of a few of the new characters, whether Akira, Koji, Kane, they do matter to the end, which I think was going to be a little controversial to a lot of the John Wick fandom. They're going to be like, okay, I get it, but really is this the character we want to follow for the next chapter? I think people are going to be split on that. So overall, I am recommending this. It is a very strong film in so many places, but a few places I thought they took the thinness to an extremity. I realized with... Chapter 3, Parabellum, people were like, okay, I like the world building, but we went a little bit too far. It, was, it got a little too boring with the details, and here they went the complete opposite. They just give you as few details as possible to get the plot motivated. No more, no less. It is just an excuse to have Keanu just jump around and kill people, throw an axe. I was a little surprised, though, that even though there is a body count that is insane, there's actually not that much blood. It is graphic in a few places, but... This is remarkably kind of PG-13. I don't even see why it got the rating it did. It just seems like, okay, I get it, but it is very violent, but it's not what you would expect. It is mostly an exercise in style. I think there it is fine. I'll just give one key moment without giving too many details where Winston and the Marquis face off and the camera just follows Winston. He's just walking and walking and walking. That was pretty good. That was excellent. And the scene overall was pretty good in their banter back and forth and that is about it i think that's actually one of the best scenes in the whole film but that is very rare for the most part the dialogue is just functional like john you know they're coming for you and john's like yeah i know they're coming for you what do you need john i need a gun and he gets the gun and he does things with the gun there was some more interesting stuff with the tracker and the way he bargains with the marquee in order to track down john and saying i will do it but i'll do it for a price and them going back and forth that was also pretty fun but yeah there's really not many moments beyond the action set pieces that were that interesting it just feels like we're just going through the motions minor spoilers but i will say i do wish we got a little bit more with winston and lawrence fishburne and a few other characters they really are here only for a small amount of time so if you are a diehard fishburne fan or diehard ian fan you may not want to pay for the full ticket price really a few characters are here just really a small amount of time just a few minutes really if you check your watch and that's it they come back do another cameo and they're gone and that's about it and you're like what so that was a little shocking and i do understand certain people had to be killed off but the way they're killed off was okay i did feel it in a few places but in a few other places it just felt like there was no point to killing that character off they could have kept the character but anyway it is good stuff it's great stuff i'm not really disagreeing with the consensus but i think people are going a little overboard in how good this is i'm gonna give this in the 8.5 out of 10 range. I do recommend it, but don't expect much of a story or plot or even character development. This is just John Wick unleashes his John Wickness and has a lot of fun killing people in a kind of PG-13 style. And I have no major issues, but I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more. And yeah, Bill Skarsgård was probably the most disappointing part, but overall still good stuff, but a little bit more disappointing than I expected.